Hello there, welcome to Fulcrum and the Force. I'm Jim and this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. Got something a little bit different today. Um, apart from Lego and lightsabers, I do also collect the Hasbro uh, six inch Black Series uh, figures. Now, it's just been my birthday and I got a few figures through, so I figured, figures and figured, that's how that went. Um, that I would go through them, um, take them out of the boxes here, and just have a closer look at the figures. Now, I am a, a out-of-box collector, as you can probably tell by my Lego. Um, I just don't see the point in the boxes. That's just me. Like I appreciate the people that do and have them, and they all look really nice, all stood up. But I'm like, put them out, have them on display. Um, I do have... Ooh like 15 of them already. Uh, I have a, so it's not a huge collection, but it's very um, like curated. So for me, I only collect Jedi or Sith. There are a couple of caveats to that, one you're about to see. Um, but as a rule, it's just Jedi or Sith. And I try to not collect the same character twice. Failed there already numerous times over but you get the idea so yeah so i've got f five new ones right here um so let's stop messing about and just get into them uh the first one i'm going to show you is we won't we won't do that one just yet that one can go last okay so let's start with the one that i've got recently that isn't actually a jedi or a sith breaking my rule as it is, but I couldn't help myself because it's Bo-Katan. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of reflecting going on on that packet. I will get, but even if I get close, it just reflects itself in it. Um, that's a bit, yeah, whatever. I will get her out, um, see, so we can have a closer look at her. But yeah, Bo-Katan, she, um, well, I mean, it's Bo-Katan. She's an absolute badass. Of course I was gonna have this. I love her helmet, <laughs> and um, and it's a really, really good figure. We'll have a closer look in a second. That's the first one. Second one I got, this was a, a companion piece to one I already have. Jedi Knight Revan. You, you kind of got to. Um, you kind of have to have a bit of Jedi Knight Revan. I do have Darth Revan. What I will do is I will... So, in another video, show the display that I've got of them. I'm actually just waiting for a bunch of little um, stands so that I can stand them all up properly because they tend to just fall over constantly. And they're up on a wall, they fall down, they take others. It's all bad. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for them. And then once I've got them, I'll be able to display them better so I, I can show you. Quick rundown of the characters I've got. Let's just go with that. Uh, two Ahsoka's. Three Luke's, brilliant. Two Rays, uh, Jaina Solo, two Obi Wan's, Kanan, Vader, Maul, two Kylos, Darth Revan. So I had to get Jedi Knight Revan um, to put him with um, Darth Revan because it's great. Uh, next, so I've got a few of these gaming ones. So Darth Revan, obviously, I've got a, um, a Stormtrooper as well. Again, not a Jedi or Sith, but it was a gaming great. Stormtrooper, and he's got blue on it. It looks good. Um, next one is another game in greats, Darth Nihilus. I'm a big fan of the Old Republic stuff. Um, I've played those games through countless times. So, again, classic Sith. Had to get it. Had to. Uh, then we got one a bit newer. Um, I'm a big fan of Rebels. Huge. It's like one of my favourite shows. Um, it just is. So I got an Ezra. Uh, I'll be honest, so much reflection. Ezra, not my favourite character in um, in Rebels. Kanan is. Ahsoka, Hera, Sabine, Chopper, most of the others before Ezra. But I figured I would try and get the Rebels set if I can. Sabine and Hera are proving expensive. Not difficult, just expensive. I'm not sure... I'm ready to put that much money in at the moment. These were all just standard prices, nothing crazy. Uh, this last one, um, 
is a is a Empire Star Wars uh, Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary special. The box is ruined, but as I said, I don't worry about the boxes. So it's Luke and Yoda from Dagobah. Dagobah. However you want to say it. Whatever you want to say. You see, look, there's massive scratch on the box there. But that's fine, because we will get them out and have a closer look. Um, so that brings me up to four Lukes now, even though I said I wasn't going to get any more of the same character. Whatever. It's my collection. What's your problem? Um, so, yeah, so let me get these unboxed, and then we can have a closer look at all the figures. I'm not going to sit here and literally take each one out of the box in front of you because it's boring. No one needs to see that and it's just going to make horrible noise. So, I will go. I will unbox these all and then we'll take another look in a second. I mean, it's, it's like 20 minutes for me. It's just now for you. So, let's see what's going on. And I'm back. For you, it was seconds. For me, it was ages. Um... Those of you that are in-box collectors will not be happy with me because i got proper aggro with some of them boxes. Couldn't get them open, so they're kind of destroyed. People are going to be like, what? No! Don't worry about it, it's my stuff. Um, so let's have a, a closer look at a few of these characters, shall we? Let's, let's start and see if I can remember what order I did them in. So we're going to start with Bo-Katan. This figure is awesome obviously she's got herself a little backpack there she's got guns in each of her holsters the helmet is quality look at that um the face sculpt on this is very katie sackoff as well which is really nice like the 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 face scans on these are getting better and better like i look at some of my old ones like even the differences between the rays is you can really see how how far they've come. And let's not talk about... I do actually have a uh, Poe Dameron, but I don't put it up because the face is terrible. So, Bo-Katan. I'm loving this figure. Absolutely loving it. Um, I do think I'm going to probably have to get a Mandalorian to go with it. Um, oh, she stands up very well. So, what did we do next? Next, we went with Jedi Knight Revan. This is a great figure. Um, so this is all plastic up here, but then this is all cloth so that it hangs quite nicely. Um, I really like how this looks. What's he got under his... So they haven't scrimped either. Like, underneath, he's still got, like, knee pads and everything. It's not like they've just gone, like, oh, throw boots on him and, and that's it. Um, obviously, he's got his purple lightsaber that... Jedi Knight Revan has the Darth Revan comes with both his his Jedi and his Sith saber. So there we go. There's his helmet. Is it just me or do they need to make a Black Series helmet of Revan? Yes, yes they do. Oh, he's standing up too. Uh, next, we went with another gaming greats, Darth Nihilus. It's all about. The face with Nihilus in it. That's dope. It's so cool. Um, not gonna lie, I feel like the body might. Revan fell over. Uh, I feel like the body might be reused from Darth Maul. It's very similar. Maybe not. That's something I need to investigate, but they're very, very similar, their bodies. They're, they're pretty basic, the rest of them, but I mean, to be fair. He's just a Sith in a black suit with a cape and a quality lightsaber. So, yeah. Nihilus. He looks good. The, the way that mask shines out from all the black, I really like that. Then we've got Ezra with his staple gun lightsaber. Nice. I really like the look of this. It's got everything right. Um... Even comes with his helmet. I'm probably not going to explain with his helmet. Um, quite a few people like Jaina Solo and Luke. I have them holding their helmets. Uh, bo Um That feels more like a, a real world version of Ezra. Than 
like the cartoon version, but that's right because the rumours are we are going to get a live action Ezra soon in the Ahsoka show. So that's probably how I'm going to display him holding his holding his helmet in his hand. That's a great figure. I, I kind of hope they do a later one as well, like with his other saber with his shorter hair. That would be cool to put that with him, seeing him grow up. I'm just going to lay this one down because. Um, and last but definitely not least, we have Luke. Dagobah Luke. If I put his face in front of my face, it focuses nice. With his dirty vest and obviously the Skywalker Saber. Uh, this comes with loads of accessories. So he actually comes with different hands. These are going to be hard to show, aren't they? Uh, so you've got like a forcey force hand. Uh, and a handy stand stand hand. I'm not sure you could display this handstandy. I could try. Um, and obviously he comes with his gun as well. He doesn't have a holster, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. It comes with a backpack. And obviously it comes with Yoda. Which is a great figure. Focus. He looks amazing. He actually comes with a swap out head as well, which I didn't know, of him with his eyes shut. Obviously when he's using the force to bring the uh, X-Wing out of the swamp. Wow, this is having problems. There you go. So that's really good as well. Um, and he, he, he comes with his little cane, tiny little cane. Um, I don't really know how I'm gonna display this because ideally I'd like to put him in his backpack and so that he can be his backpack while he jumps. Um, but then I feel like that's a bit of a disservice to Yoda. Uh, let's see. Should we try and get it on here and see how it is? This is this is going to be bad. Everything about this is bad. I'm not going to do it on camera because uh, it's bad. That's interesting. It, it pops off. <laughs> pops off on one side so you can actually put it in on easier. Well, that's good, isn't it? You learn something new every day. Get it over your head. Come on. There we go. This is an exciting video, isn't it? Well, that's a pig to get back in. So let's just uh, leave it like that for the minute. What do you think? Should I display it like that? With Luke's head in the correct position. Or should Yoda get his own little thing? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure at this present moment in time. I'm going to take it all off. Maybe I'll just display Luke with the backpack. I can put the, the spares in the backpack and Yoda can have his own little space. The only problem with Yoda is he doesn't have any holes for a, like a foot peg. Um, so I'm going to have to think about that because I want to display this in the best possible way because I'd quite like to have Luke using the force because we've got tons of this lightsaber on the display so far. And so for him to be like using the force, that'd be good. But he's a good figure. I like his boots and everything. Dig the backpack. That's probably one of the better looking looks we've had. Still not perfect. I, they really struggle with Luke. Um, the Jedi Knight one's probably the best so far. Oh no, the, the X-Wing pilot Luke is quality. Um, but once my display is all fully done, I will... I just pulled out the wrong hand. Um, I will go through those and do show you bits and pieces of those. Yeah, a bit more... 
force Luke trying to raise the X-Wing and failing. Trying. So there we go. Those are all the figures. Look, go on. Have another one last look at Yoda and look how good he is. That's so good. It's my favourite. Can he hold his little cane? He can, you know. There's, has he got much articulation going on in his arms? Like, he does, actually. Even Yoda's got, like, arm articulation which is pretty cool. In such a small figure, you wouldn't have expected like so much to be able to be done with him, but that's really good. Just pop his head off. Oh, you know what? I think that's the best way to display him. Look at that. That is awesome. That's how he's going to be displayed. Yep, 100%. That's quality. They can both be doing it. I kind of wish they'd done a switch out head for Luke with his eyes shut as well now. That would have been great. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put all the little bits, including Yoda's head, in the backpack. And then Luke can hold the saber in his other hand. There we go. That's how he's going to be displayed. Nice! I really like them. I really like them a lot. I think my favourites are probably... I'll be honest, that Yoda. <laughs> That's... That's epic. Um, I love that. I might have to get him like a little extra tall stand so you can actually see him. Um, but I love that. Um, Bo-Katan as well. Jedi, they're all my favorites. That's why I, that's why I have them. Otherwise I wouldn't have them. So yeah, that's it for this, uh, this random video about toys. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to, um, like this video and subscribe um, if you want to see more of this I'll do more maybe what I'll do is I will do when I get the little plaque through I'll do reviews of like three or four at a time until I've done all my collection together um, but let me know if you want to see that and uh, and we'll make that happen that Yoda's so cool um, but yeah uh, obviously this merch here you can get if you head over to my Instagram at Fulcrum Force, there's a, a link um, to the Teespring where you can get this design. There's another one with Arabesh that says Team Fulcrum, and also jo just dropped a new one, um, new design that all the proceeds go to charity. So check that out. Um, but yeah. That's about it for this video. I've been told that I say that's about it for the video and then carry on talking for another two minutes. So I'm just going to say we are one with a force and the force is with us.